In 2017, something extraordinary happened. An object, unlike anything we've ever seen, entered our solar system from the deep void of interstellar space. It wasn't a comet. It wasn't an asteroid. It was something different. We named it Oumuamua, a Hawaiian word meaning a messenger from afar arriving first. It was the first known interstellar visitor to pass through our cosmic neighborhood. But where did it come from? Where is it now? Are there more like it? And now, what do scientists theorize about this mysterious object? Some believe it's a fragment of a shattered planet from another star system. Others suggest something far more provocative, that it might be a probe sent by an alien civilization. And perhaps the biggest question of all, will we ever catch up to it? I'm Jay, and you're watching Astrosium. Let's get to the topic. October 19th, 2017. Just another routine night at the Pan Stars Observatory in Hawaii. Astronomer Robert Werrick was going through the previous night's sky survey, something he had done countless times before. But this time, something stood out. A faint point of light moving fast, too fast for any asteroid in our solar system. And unlike a comet, it had no glowing tail, no dust, no gas, just a strange, silent traveler. Within hours, telescopes around the world turned to track this unusual object. What they discovered would challenge everything we thought we knew about our place in the universe. It was given a name, Oumuamua. And that's exactly what it was. The first confirmed interstellar object to ever pass through our solar system. Thomas Zerbuchen, NASA's associate administrator for science at the time, summed it up perfectly. For decades, We've theorized that such interstellar objects are out there. And now, for the first time, we have direct evidence they exist. But this visitor didn't just confirm a theory. It opened a mystery. Because the more scientists studied Oumuamua, the stranger it became. Its shape, its speed, its behavior. Nothing about it made sense. And soon, some began to wonder. Was it really just a rock? From the moment astronomers spotted Oumuamua, they knew it wasn't just another space rock. Its incredible speed and unknown origin were puzzling enough, but it was its motion that truly defied expectations. Every 7.3 hours, its brightness shifted drastically, suggesting not a stable spin, but a chaotic tumble. Its shape added to the mystery. Unlike the rounded, potato-like asteroids we're used to, Oumuamua appeared either long and cigar-shaped or, according to later models, a flat, pancake-like object, about 115 meters long, 111 wide, and just 19 thick. Unusually thin, unusually strange. Its reddish surface hinted at an ancient origin, weathered by cosmic radiation over billions of years. Yet even as it passed just 23 million miles from the sun, close enough to vaporize ice, it showed no signs of outgassing, no tail, no jets, nothing. Still, it accelerated. Moving at nearly 196,000 miles per hour on a hyperbolic path, it was clear this object came from beyond our solar system and wasn't coming back. But then came the twist its trajectory subtly shifted, as if nudged by an invisible force. NASA's Davide Farnocchia suggested comet-like gas jets could be the cause. But here's the problem. No gas, no dust, not even a trace was ever found. A comet with no coma. A mystery with no clear answer. Oumuamua moved like a comet, but looked like nothing we'd ever seen. And the theories that followed would shake the foundations of science itself. The mystery of Oumuamua didn't fade with its departure. It only deepened. Its bizarre behavior sparked a global scientific investigation still unfolding today. In 2021, 
Alan Jackson and Steve Desch of Arizona State University proposed that Oumuamua might be a fragment of a Pluto-like exoplanet made of solid nitrogen ice. This could explain both its flat shape and silent acceleration. As the nitrogen vaporized under the sun's heat, it would act like an invisible thruster, gently pushing the object without leaving a visible tail. Jackson suggested it was likely blasted off its home world half a billion years ago. Another theory? Molecular hydrogen ice, so delicate it only forms in regions near absolute zero. If Oumuamua were made of this, solar warming could trigger sublimation without any visible gases. Then, in March 2023, a new explanation emerged. Molecular hydrogen trapped inside a water-rich icy body. As the sun's heat initiated chemical reactions, it released hydrogen gas, providing a subtle but consistent push. This aligned with a revised theory. Oumuamua as an interstellar comet, possibly shaped by tidal fragmentation when a larger object was torn apart by a nearby star. But not every idea stayed within scientific norms. Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb proposed something radical. What if Oumuamua was artificial, a probe or light sail sent by an intelligent civilization? While most experts favor natural explanations, Loeb's hypothesis reminds us that exploring the universe also means challenging our assumptions. In March 2025, a study by Shi Ling Zheng and Ji Lin Zhou, published through Harvard, used simulations to show how Jupiter sized planets in distant solar systems could fling objects like Oumuamua into interstellar space. Their findings suggest these cosmic visitors might be far more common than we once thought. But the story doesn't end there. Where Oumuamua is headed, and whether we'll ever catch up, could hold the key to our next leap in understanding the cosmos. So, stick with us. To truly grasp the magnitude of Oumuamua's visit, we have to trace its path through our solar system a journey that began long before we even knew it existed. In early September 2017, it silently crossed Neptune's orbit, racing inward at astonishing speed. On September 9th, it reached perihelion, its closest point to the Sun, passing even nearer than Mercury, just 0.25 astronomical units away. At that moment, it was moving at a staggering 87.7 kilometers per second, supercharged by a gravitational slingshot from the Sun. Just five weeks later, on October 14th, it brushed past Earth, skimming by at a distance of 15 million miles, about 60 times the distance to the Moon. And yet, we didn't detect it until October 19th, when it was already speeding away, vanishing into the void. That narrow window, just a few short weeks, was all scientists had to observe it. Even our most advanced telescopes struggled to keep it in view. The Hubble Space Telescope tracked it the longest, but by January 2018, even Hubble lost sight of the object. Now, in 2025, Oumuamua has left the inner solar system far behind. It's beyond the Kuiper Belt the frigid zone where Pluto and other icy bodies orbit in the deep dark. By late 2025, it's expected to cross the Kuiper Belt's outer edge, and by November 2038, it will reach the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's influence ends. From there, it drifts into true interstellar space, bound for the constellation Pegasus, never to return. Traveling faster than any spacecraft we've ever launched, Oumuamua will cover one light year in just 11,000 years, a cosmic blink. But here's the question that haunts scientists. Can we ever catch up? And if we try, what might we discover? Stick around. What's coming next might just redefine our place in the cosmos. Of all the mysteries surrounding Oumuamua, one question stands out. 
Where did it come from? When astronomers traced its path backward, they found it had entered our solar system from the direction of the constellation Lyra, near the bright star Vega. But don't be misled. Vega isn't its origin. Stars drift through the galaxy just like planets. And Oumuamua may have wandered through interstellar space for hundreds of millions or even billions of years before its brief pass by Earth. Its closest known encounter was with a faint red dwarf named HIP 3757 about a million years ago. But even that provides no definitive clues. A breakthrough came in 2025 when astronomers Ji Ling Zheng and Ji Lin Zhou ran advanced simulations showing that solar systems with Jupiter sized gas giants in wide orbits are especially efficient at ejecting material into deep space. Systems with multiple planets, they found, are even more likely to launch objects like Oumuamua across the stars, cosmic castaways flung out by gravitational chaos. The implication? Oumuamua probably originated from a dynamic, possibly violent system, perhaps hurled away during a collision or planetary slingshot event. And here's the twist. It might not be alone. In February 2025, another study suggested our own solar system could be quietly harboring millions of similar interstellar objects, hidden in the distant Oort cloud. The 2019 discovery of 2I slash Borisov, the second confirmed interstellar visitor, resembled a conventional comet, only making Oumuamua seem even more like an outlier. As astronomer Karen Meech said, the more we study Oumuamua, the more exciting it gets. I can hardly wait for the next interstellar object, and neither should you, because we're about to explore how Oumuamua and other interstellar visitors like it could forever reshape our understanding of the cosmos and our place within it. As Oumuamua continues its silent journey into interstellar space, its brief visit to our solar system has left a profound legacy. As of April 2025, updated trajectory data confirms it has crossed the Kuiper Belt, the icy outer boundary of our solar system, and vanished beyond the reach of even our most powerful telescopes. But its departure is not an ending. It's a catalyst. A new era of discovery is just beginning. Later this year, the Vera C. Rubin Observatory will begin full-scale operations, scanning the entire visible sky every few nights. With unmatched observational power, it's poised to revolutionize our ability to detect faint, fast-moving objects, especially those visiting from other star systems. Astronomer James Ray, 2024 Simons Fellowship recipient, put it simply, the new Rubin Observatory will dramatically increase our ability to detect these cosmic wanderers. We expect to find many more interstellar objects in the coming years. But discovery is just the first step. Scientists are now planning missions that could one day intercept future interstellar visitors, or even chase down Oumuamua itself. These bold ideas hinge on propulsion technologies not yet realized but potentially capable of launching a new era of deep space exploration. Why pursue them? Because every interstellar object is a messenger, carrying samples and secrets from alien worlds we may never see. Oumuamua revealed a fundamental truth. Our solar system isn't isolated. It's part of a vast, dynamic galaxy where matter, and possibly the ingredients for life, travel from star to star. A 2025 study suggests millions of interstellar objects may already lurk in our own Oort cloud, silently orbiting among us. They aren't rare. They're here. In that light, the name Oumuamua, Hawaiian for scout or messenger from afar, wasn't just poetic. It was prophetic. This mysterious traveler explored our solar system and left behind a message that still echoes. We are not alone in the cosmic story.